everyone! Welcome to your Thread Faction Sewn episode 1 bonus content! If you're looking for the actual episode, you'll find a link to that in the description box. But what we're here for now is a beginner knit sewing basics mini course. We're going to cover off what I believe to be the five basic knit sewing skills that should get you up and sewing with knits in no time. We're going to cover off seams, hems, bands, bindings and elastic. This clip is going to cover off seams. For all the others, check the description box. Bonus! So, seams. Why are seams different on knit fabrics? I'm so glad you asked. The answer is stretchiness. If your fabric stretches and your seam doesn't, the thread breaks and it all comes unraveled and a regular straight stitch doesn't stretch. You can, of course, do all of your knit seams on your overlocker, but if you're using your machine, there's a few changes you need to make. The number one change you need to make for sewing knits is that you need a different needle. You need either a ballpoint needle, a jersey needle, or a stretch needle. These just have a different tip, and it prevents the needle from punching holes and causing ladders in your fabric. My favourite is a stretch needle, but different needles work better for different machines, so try a few and find out which one works best for you. Number two change is you need to use a stretchy stitch. There are a few different options for stretch stitches, and it'll depend on which ones your machine has. I know some seamstresses that use a stitch that looks like a lightning bolt, and others go for the triple stitch. But a plain old zigzag works just fine, and that's what I usually use, a short narrow zigzag. The number three change I recommend is to lighten up the downward pressure on your press foot. Not all machines have this setting and you might have to look it up in your manual, but if yours does, I recommend using it. The lighter pressure stops the foot and the feed dogs from stretching your fabric out as you sew, and it really helps prevent wobbly distorted seams. I just want to show you um, the results you get. This is a, this is a sample of sewing on my normal zigzag settings but with the full force of the press support. So that's the automatic setting for sewing with wovens but can you see the distortion and wobbliness in this hem then if I end this seam and if I were to press that it would make the seam much longer than it's supposed to be. Okay, So if I lighten that up like I've just done and I'll sew this sample here and you can get an idea of the difference that it makes. So this is the exact same stitch that I used for this sample. See how much less wobble there is in the seam, and a press would make that completely flat. There you go. Knit seam. Stretchy, so the stitches aren't going to break. Ready to go. Thanks for watching this Thread Faction Sewn bonus. See you next time. <laughs>